Hi, this is Brian Meek from New Concepts. This is a quick little walkthrough on how to properly install and tension a blade in one of our New Concepts saws. This works equally well with woodworkers blades or jewelers blades. The saw doesn't make any distinctions. And this works with any of the hand saws except the coping saw. Uh, that little black vise you're seeing in the background is just so that I can clamp the saw where the camera can see it. You don't actually need a vise to tension your saw. I just need it for taking pictures. First thing you do is check the orientation of the saw blade. Make sure the teeth are facing out away from the saw frame and that they're facing down towards the handle so they cut on the pull stroke. I'm using a woodworker's blade here to make this easy to see. Then you take the end of the blade and put it into the upper blade socket Put it in all the way until you feel it hit the back of the socket and then clamp it tight. The next step is to take the lower end of the blade, stick it into the bottom clamp and then press down on the upper clamp until you see the blade bend a little bit. Once you see it bend, then clamp that, flip the tension lever, and you should be back in business. If you have one of the screw saws that only has the screw tensioning, you retension it by way of twisting the tension knob. The correct tension for any given blade is up to you, but on the lever tension saws we like to leave about a sixteenth of an inch or a little less of a gap between the back of the lever and the bottom of the tensioning knob, as you see here. Uh, that way when you go to tension the saw, you get the right amount of tension with no risk of over-tensioning the saw and damaging it. On the lever saws, it is possible to over-tension the, the tension knob such that the lever will start to pull against the frame itself rather than the blade. If you start to see a little bit of the screw sticking out here, you're about to have a problem. Otherwise, keep an eye on that little black spot there. That's the slot that the upper clamp rides back and forth in. If you run into the end of it, you then start pulling against the frame. So watch what happens here. As I pull down, that little spot goes away and the screw rams into the end of the frame. At this point you will feel a drastic increase in tension. Um, the lever will suddenly get much 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 stiffer. If you feel that, stop! Uh, you shouldn't ever need to get a blade this tight. Uh, this is not extra tension, this is tearing the saw apart. Uh, if you're getting to here, that means that one of, the, one, of the, one of the blade ends isn't grabbed right. So stop, check your blade clamping, and go and try it again. And that's how you load and tension one of our saw frames. The really important part is making sure that both ends of the blade are all the way into the blade clamps. After that, it's just a matter of figuring out how much tension you like and going out and making sawdust. I hope this has answered your questions. If you find one it hasn't, feel free to contact us through the website www.newconcepts.com, spelled with a K, of course. Thank you very much.